welcome back to CCTV with today highlights of the social event, an interview on Brexit and breaking news on the location of Chemical Near Americas 2020. But first Christina Vidodo with some sound bites from the sessions on Asia Pacific. We have a great session this morning. Um, we have gone through several uh, regulatory developments in Southeast Asia. It's great to see the harmonization toward uh, chemical notification registration. I know we've had uh, GHS harmonization in the past few years, but I think there's a trend now going through um, the revamping the several countries' uh, chemical management policy and legislation in the, in the region. Uh, with that, I would like to highlight the Malaysia, uh, Malaysia and Vietnam. There's so many uh, interesting and exciting regulatory activities coming, um, coming toward uh, the future. We've been quite busy in Malaysia doing a lot of reviews on our legislative frameworks to harmonize them and to enhance enforcement as well as to control chemicals better in Malaysia. We hope that this would help the industry as well as the government agencies to work towards a better future. So I would like to share two messages from the Vietnam Chemical Agency on the chemical management system in Vietnam. First, we will create the best condition for the investor to come and have the business in Vietnam by changing uh, from the licensing system uh, to give you more responsibility and duty in the implementing the, our chemical laws. And the next is the, for the uh, national inventory. We can uh, uh, learn the experience from the other country in the developing the inventory uh, to support you uh, uh, to comply with the requirement of the inventory in the easier way. And uh, please wait for the uh, official the announcement uh, of the uh, establishment of the inventory. Thank you. Time to check in on our local reporter. Are you still in the Reptile Cafe? No, I'm in a blind alley. An animal cafe unlike the others because it's filled with raccoons. Despite their mischievous behavior, they will still win your heart every time they look into your eyes. You just cannot resist them and end up giving them treats. I'm sure your delegates also liked the treats at the social event. Chemical Asia's 2019 social event was held at Sabbath Island, an artificial floating island in the Han River. The delegates enjoyed a spectacular Nanta performance, a non-verbal musical show with reckless rhythms and percussion sounds with a comical twist. Kitchen utensils were transformed into musical instruments and Nanta chefs captivated their delegates with their performances as they busily cooked. The sound and rhythms of the drums echoed through the evening and transformed to pounding heartbeats when the location of Chemical Near Americas 2020 was revealed. Cheers. But that's for later. I cannot wait. We will connect again later in this bulletin to learn more about the location of Chemical Near Americas 2020. But first we'll shift our focus to the European Union or more precise to the United Kingdom. I discussed the impact of Brexit for the chemical industry with Alan Daniels and Mel Byring. Alan, is Brexit a risk or an opportunity for industry? A no-deal Brexit is definitely a risk. Um, Short-term risks for the coatings industry include having delays at the border. We're a just-in-time industry, so getting products into and out of the UK and the EU is key. Also tariffs, w WTO tariffs on chemicals are 6.5%. But in the long term, there's major concerns about the drain of foreign direct investment away from the UK. Mel, how is Lubrizol preparing for Brexit? Uh, in terms of chemical regulation, obviously, uh, reach is uh, pretty key. Also, uh, it's important to understand that we have a, a considerable degree of interconnectivity between our EU and our UK businesses. So when I looked at this, um, back after Article 50 was triggered, um, I came up with three main scenarios for Lubrizol. Number one was uh, how do we put in place contingency for our EU mainland plants who are sourcing raw materials from the UK or 
UK manufactured raw materials up the supply chain. Number two was UK manufactured products and understanding where the raw materials for those products come from. Are they coming from the EU or the UK? And thirdly, and also very importantly, um, Lubizol had filed all of its OR registrations through the UK. So we needed a plan to transition them to one of our mainland legal entities as part of our contingency planning. Please watch the complete interview on our YouTube channel. Brexit is definitely not a simple issue. Also, the new chemical substance notification in China is not easy. But the Ministry of Environment and Ecology has announced that they will simplify the notification process. Something I will discuss with Tom Zhang from PNG. Tom, welcome. Thank you for having me. Tom, can you tell us more about the simplified process? Oh, sure. I think the industry is uh, really excited about it. In the new proposed simplification scheme, polymers, R&D chemicals, less than one ton new chemicals are possibly be simplified very much. This means industry uh, can possibly have early access to market for their new technologies. And so the ministry can have more time focusing on the real important in-market inspections. So the compliance bar will not be lowered, but the process will be easier. That's exactly right. And your statement is? The simplified process for new chemical substance notification in China is the right direction to go. Tom, thank you very much for your input. Please share your opinion about this via our ChemConnect app. Now it's time for our breaking news on the location of ChemCon the Americas 2020. Han Zhang, I see you're still in Blind Alley with the raccoons. Yes. As you know, the raccoons are found throughout North America. So I thought this cafe very fitting for the moment we announce the location of ChemCon the Americas 2020. There we go. Three, two, one. That's the forecast for March 2020. Now the forecast of the day. This morning we'll learn more about ECA's focus and strategy, Brexit, Turkey and REITs authorization, followed by an update on the legal framework in China. Before we end the day, we'll spotlight on specific regulations for food contact, rose, cosmetics and nanomaterials. Thank you for watching and have a magnificent day.